Hey guys, as promised, this is TJ with DaVinci Lux. I'm making a video about our new Avalon Miner. We've got an Avalon Miner 1047, and it just was delivered. We're going to do a step-by-step. -step. I'm going to cut out all the crap in the middle, and we're going to show you the important things to get this baby up and running. All right, everybody, and there she is. That's exactly what's in the box. It's the back, the side, the front, and the other side, okay? Now, you'll notice there's no plug, so you have to have a plug. I've went in out of my garage. I've grabbed the plug. You can see it's this special square plug. I'll leave a link to... Uh, where you can purchase the plug at the bottom. I thought, why don't I make a little video? So this plugs in here. Like so. This funky end, see how they're not the same? This is not a 110. It's a 240 volt. And so when we go outside, you'll see what that has to plug into. You can see we already have another unit going. And right here on this shelf, we're going to put the new unit. Alright guys, here's the new machine on the shelf. And the other one running below it. Make sure the switch is off. You want to make sure that uh, the corresponding breaker, so you might have to have an electrician do that. I got 1A, 2B. It's on, it's plugged in, it's off. Now, we need internet. Make sure your connection is good. Then you go ahead and turn it on. And then we're going to go inside. Okay, the first thing you do is you have to go, uh, you have to figure out what the IP address of the miner is that you've just uh, installed. Uh, of course, you're liable for your own decisions. Um, uh, no one else is liable for what you do. Uh, this particular site I'm looking at is minerstat.com uh, slash software slash locator. I've downloaded the locator for Windows and it's showing up uh, down right here in the bottom. Uh, it's in downloads and so I'm going to right click on that minerstat zip file and say extract all. I'm going to tell it to just do it right where it's at and then once it's done extracting everything out of there it's going to open a new folder. I'm just going to close that. And then uh, in here you'll see, uh, let me refresh. Okay, right here you'll see there is a new uh, minor stat locator windows folder. This is the zip folder. This is the unzip folder. I'm going to open that up. 
and then I'm going to scroll down and look for the actual application, which is going to be an icon. See that? Maybe I can make it bigger. See the little blue thing? Uh, if you decide to use this one, which I'm going to do, um, and I'll close this other window, and I'm just going to click on that. It's going to load it. Welcome to Locator. Brought to you by Minerstat, so you can find all the ASIC devices on your network. I'm going to hit Start. Uh, enter the network address of your IP in the input fields, 192.168.0. That does happen to be what mine is, uh, so I'm just going to hit Continue. And now I close that other window. It's searching for all the devices that have an IP address on my network. It says Locator has found three devices on your network. You can export them uh, as a JSON file and import them to your dashboard, etc. I'm just going to hit export and then it's going to say where you want to export it to. Uh, right now it's you can see it's set to desktop um, and that's fine. It can put it on my desktop. It says it's called locator underscore export file. There it is. See it just popped up over here and it's a notebook file because I've opened it like that before. I'm just going to close this JSON thing, this old zip file. I don't need that. I just deleted that. Okay, now I've got my file here. I'm going to right-click it and say Open With Notepad. Hit OK. It'll open it up, and it's going to show me right here that I have three devices um, that are pulling an uh, IP address. This one right here, the .48, that's the miner that I already have loaded. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to open a internet window. I'm just going to open. You can open any kind you want. I'm going to open Chrome. That's what I have on my computer. And what I'm going to do is over here, there's these other two. I don't know which one of these it is. I'm guessing it's probably this 192.168.0.59. Now yours is going to show whatever your devices are in your system, in your network, and you must be on the same network with your computer as the item that is plugged in. So I'm going to copy this .59 and I'm going to paste that into the URL here in Chrome, okay, and I'm going to hit enter. And look at that. The username is root. The default password is root. And there it is. We're logged in. Now it's saying a data breach has exposed my password, uh, so it recommends me changing it. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go to Administrator, and I'm going to make a new password. OK. I've in inputted my new password. You can use whatever you want. You put them both in the same. Uh, make sure you don't forget or lose this, um, otherwise you're going to have a problem. Make sure your caps lock is not on when you make your password. I'm going to hit apply and I'm just going to close that auto save window. And now you can see it takes us back to the login screen because uh, you changed the password. So now if you don't have the password, you can't log into it. Okay, so we're going to, uh, the username is always root. That does not change. You can't change it. You don't need to. Okay, so then I'm going to put in my new password. And look at that. We've logged in. Um, okay, so far we've plugged in and installed a new miner. We have connected it to the internet. We found its IP address and we changed the password. Um, so we logged in and changed the password and then we re-logged in again with the new password. And now you can see that it is actually starting to come across. It's doing about 37 terahash right now. But uh, so the next question is, where is it mining? Because I didn't put in any information. So, yeah, technically right now, it's mining, I have no idea. Let's take a look. We're going to click on Pool over here on the menu on the left. I'm going to click on Pool, and you can see uh, it has been preset, okay, to this uh, Bitcoin SS, whatever that is, uh, a worker. This is probably a default worker from the manufacturer to test it to make sure it works before they send it to you, which is uh, fantastic. That means that Canaan has tested this, this unit, um, which I am very appreciative of. I like it when they make sure things work before they mail them to me, right? 
I'm sure that you'll be very appreciative of that as well. Now, what you're going to need to do next is you're going to need to get your own pool information to put in here. You can use any pool that you want. And personally, I use Kano Pool because, which is K-N-O dot I-S or dot space. You can use either one. Um, you can see uh, right off the bat, you're not even logged in. It shows you they've, this pool has been mining for 131 days. Uh, right at the moment, they've got 7.18 Feta hash uh, going. Uh, they're at 121%. And at 7.25, uh, 7 Feta hash, there's definitely room for some, some more miners on this pool. Uh, fantastic, is you're going to want to register. Okay, once you click register, you're going to come down here and you're going to make up uh, your own username and then your email and then you're going to make a password and repeat the password and you're going to register. I'm going to go ahead and put mine in here. I'm going to go to account and settings and it's going to bring you here to account settings, okay? And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down here to Bitcoin address and you're gonna to have to put in you're gonna put in your Bitcoin address now I will not go too into depth on that that's totally up to you okay uh, you have to figure out how to get your own Bitcoin address okay once you're logged in um, uh, you're here on the home page you're logged in if you look down right here it says the pool the worker and the password that's all the information that we need for our miner so I'm going to go ahead and just copy this here. Uh, I'm going to go over to my miner. I'm going to paste that in this top. Your username, dot worker. Okay, it's not dot worker. Well, technically you could just use dot worker, but for each machine that you have connected, you're going to make a different, okay? And you can make that anything you want. Your pool address, you're going to use the stratum if you're not sure which one to use or whatever stratum uh, from the pool that you're using. This I just happen to be using Connell Pool. You don't have to use this pool. You can use any pool you want. That is not up to us. That's up to you. Uh, control panel, you're going to paste in your pool address here, uh, whatever one you're going to use. Then you're going to put in your worker name and then you hit save. When you do, it's going to pop up and say it's successful. Need to reboot manually. Okay, what does that mean? It means I need to go turn off the power switch, wait 30 seconds, and power it back on. I'll be right back. With the Avalon device, which is kind of nice, um, I just reset the unit. I powered it off. I waited about a minute. I plugged, I turned it back on, uh, the power button. And now I've come back in here. So it's been about two minutes. Write things down. Do things step by step. Uh, when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency, uh, there is nothing about cryptocurrency that is a joke. There's nothing about it that's funny. It is very serious. Uh, and why is it serious? It's serious because you are in control and responsible for your own transactions. Now, you can go through a third-party wallet uh, where you have a little bit of support and, and backup, but um, if you control and manage your own wallet and your own Bitcoin addresses... Uh, essentially, you are in control. The downfall to that is if you make a mistake, uh, it's your fault. And in a lot of cases, there's no way to recover uh, funds. If you put in the wrong, ad wrong address, or if you don't put the right tag number in on an alter alternative currency, uh, something like that. So how do you avoid those problems? Write it down. Take your IP address. Paste it in the URL and hit enter. It's going to make you log in. You can see that we're logged back in. Um, it hasn't even been that long. And now, this is, if you just sit and watch, uh, this is going to update. And if you look up here, it tells you what the IP address of this unit is. It tells you what it is, Avalon Miner 1047. It tells you the temperature, 91 degrees Fahrenheit. The fan's at 100. It tells you what the system is doing. Right now it says it's working. It's in work using two hash boards. And if you look over here on the right, it's just started mining in this pool. So it's going to have to ramp up a little bit. But right now you can see it's at 33.27 terahash. And
And then what you can do is you can jump over to Connell Pool or whatever pool you're using, and you can log in and look at your workers and see what they're doing.